very quick video of this. This is my son's um, 173 brake horsepower uh, T31 Nissan X Trail. Uh, it's a 2007, so the, the first sort of year of them. Um, it's developed a, a very um, great lack of power. We seem to have a, a sort of turbo problem or something like that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug the uh, scan tool in, which I've got, which is this Autel Auto Link. That's the model of it. I think these are a pretty good uh, um, code reader. We've been calling my previous videos. I think this one, um, but they do read ABS codes on brakes and things. Now, the the, um, the actual plug for these is. There's the um, bonnet release catch there, and they're just tucked up underneath there. Right, I've plugged the scan tool in, um, and you always do that before you turn the ignition on. Right, turn the ignition on now, and you can see the warning lights on there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little read of everything. Codes found one. Okay, go down, read codes, stored codes, turbocharger, stroke supercharger, boost sensor, A circuit. And if you look at the code at the top there, it's not awfully easy to read. PO235. You can go and look it up on the internet, but it's, it's more or less what it tells you. So, there is a sensor under the bonnet, which I'll go and show you now, um, and I'll show you briefly how to test it as well. I mean, at this point, I've actually fitted the new one and it's, uh, the code is cleared, so I'm going to clear down the codes now and get rid of it. Go escape. Again, go down, erase codes, are you sure, yes, erase done, press any key to a yeah. go back, read codes, all clear, all good. Right, unfortunately we've had, to do, we've had to do this at night, not the best thing, in the middle of winter in the UK, a little bit damp and dreary. Um, I've taken the, the uh, engine um, sort of noise cover off, the, the, the plasticky thing, and you can see the oil filler there, and the sensor is located just there, and it's got a little plug on the N3 cables, and a little screw holding that down, 8mm um, quarter inch drive socket will take it out quite nicely. Right, what I'll do, I'll do now is I'll show you um, a little, little comparison between the, the new unit, this one, and the faulty one that was fitted. Right, we've come inside back out of the rain, and it's just dry in here. I'm going to show you the, um, the, the difference you can measure using a digital multimeter set to ohms. Um, this is the new one on the um, left-hand side and the old one on the right-hand side. And if you go across the outside two connections... You can see we've got about 1.6 K ohms. And if you look at the other one, the old one, we've got 5.72. So that's a, that's quite a considerable difference. And on the new one, if you go between the outside one and the middle one, we've got 1.5 K ohms. And that the middle one to the other end one, about just under 3.2. But the old one, outside to middle. 5.25 k ohms and the middle one to the other end about 5.9 nearly 6 k ohms so that's quite a considerable distant difference so i'm pretty satisfied that there's a, a faulty if you look at the new unit hopefully you can, we can just about see the uh, the part numbers for it the part number is the um 
the, the number um, 0281 etc. That is the original one. They're both um, Bosch, that one didn't actually say it, but the little symbol on the top left hand side is the Bosch symbol. This new one actually has got Bosch written on it. That one came from Amazon, Amazon Prime mainly because it was obviously the rapid delivery and um, about £24 at the time of filming, which is you know reasonable. Um, I don't see the point in buying a, a cheap aftermarket one when you can buy the genuine thing. Um, so there we go. Fortunately, fitting this has been quite successful and uh, the car is back running nicely. So there we go.